Hi guys, my name is Ozzy and today I'm going to be unboxing this PlayStation 5, the God of War Ragnarok bundle. So I gotta play smart, I've been getting dope teams every time my phone rings. It's your I've been procrastinating on this video for like the past two days. I've been staring at this box and enjoying how cool the PS5 looks in the box. And I've been seeing gameplay of God of War Ragnarok. And I've been waiting for this game for the past four years, but yet for some reason, I'm not playing it. I just like the idea, the fact that the game is out. But, with the way with all the new technology and entertainment that we get on a regular basis, sometimes you just get caught up in all the other stuff. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this unboxing. As you can see, that AK. I don't even have an AK TV. I got a TV that's got like HD. But at some point, I got to get a 4K TV so I can truly immerse myself in the high quality of the graphics in the game, you know. Well, I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on the side so you can see it right here. As you can see right here, got a God of War Ragnarok, the wolves from the game, the ice giants, in the back, it says, lightning speed, harness the power of a custom CPU and solid state drive with integrated I.O. that rewrite the rules of what a PlayStation console can do. Play like never before, breathtaking immersion, discover a deeper gaming experience with support for haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and 3D audio technology. Sony games, Marvel added incredible graphics and experience new PS5 features. Play a back catalog support PS4 games with system update. I will definitely be replaying the 2018 Insomnia produced uh, Spider-Man game. I saw on YouTube that it doesn't have a load screen when you play it on PS5. That's pretty awesome. You got the side right here. It says, contents, PlayStation console, wireless controller, base, HDMI cable, AC power cord, USB cable, Astro's Playroom, pre-installed game, God of War, Ragnarok Voucher. So it doesn't come with a physical copy of the game. It comes with a digital download. So you just got to put the code in and then you can go ahead and download it straight to your PS5. All right, I'll further do. I wish I got a knife, but I'm just going to peel the tape off real smooth like, you know. Not damage the box too much. PlayStation logo. White box. Says one, two, three. Yeah, here's not to get this far. Got a little right my voucher. I'm not gonna flip it over because by the time you see this video, I should have already installed it. But just in case, I'm not gonna put the back on. Yeah. So go over an account for PlayStation Network or use your existing PSN account. I right, got that. And then redeem code. Oh, it doesn't have the pin. <coughs> Excuse me. The pin doesn't show you. I have to actually scratch it off. So you guys can't see. That's awesome. But hopefully by the time this video is up. to my PS5. If not, I won't be uploading this until I do. Alright, so come with the PlayStation 5 quick start guide. All the destruction and stuff. Do that. It basically shows you how you use the base. Attach the base, always attach the base to the console, whether it's in the vertical or horizontal position. Hmm, cool. This console is the rear side facing. I'm gonna leave this to the side. I don't want to break the PS5, so I want to make sure I do everything right. Ooh, that control. It's kind of crazy that it took me two years to be able to get one of these for retail. Like, I just walked into a GameStop. I was with my friend who was buying a Nintendo Switch controller. He was like, yo, Ozzy, check this out. They got a PlayStation 5. I said, word. So I went in there and I bought one. 
I was like, shocked. Every time I go to a store and they have a PlayStation 5 on display, it's only on display. They're like, oh, we don't have any in the back. They're all sold out. So two years later, there's December 21st, and I bought this on December 19th, but I was working, so I didn't have time to go ahead and post a video. But as you can see, it's a controller. Here's the back. Charger. The charger is a USB-C. Not like the micro USB charger that the previous uh, PlayStation 4 controller used. Got the cord. I'm assuming the AC adapter goes here. Let's see, let's see. The HDMI cable. And this is the base for the PlayStation 5. Right here. So you can actually stand it up or you can place it on the side, so that's pretty cool. This is a charging cable, USB Type C. You can see, pretty cool. Right, that's everything in the box on this side. Now, the most important part, the PlayStation 5 itself. Now, this is the part where it gets scary. Last time I bought a game brand new was Spider-Man Miles Morales. I usually just kind of wait and then buy a game for and get it on disc. I actually bought the game for my friend before I bought it for myself because he won deployment. So I bought it for him on PS4 and shipped it out to him. So it's kind of funny how I'll spend the money on my friend before I spend money on myself because I'm cheap. Yeah, here's the PS5. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. PlayStation logo right here. It's like carved in. It's got like a mirror type material in here. Let me go ahead and zoom, bring the camera, bring it closer to the camera so you can see it. And you got the vents on the back. This part for the adapter, the HDMI port, a LAN cable port, and then two USB 3.0 ports right here. I'm kind of shocked that this doesn't have a USB C port. What is that over here? I don't think it's a USB C port. This will find out when I power this thing on. So I remember when this first came on, a lot of people said, oh, it looks like a router. But in person, it looks a lot better. And it's not as heavy as I expect. And I got the this version because I want to be able to do the backwards compatibility with old PS4 games. Oh yeah, I was wrong. It does have a USB-C cable. It's right here. So there are three USB 3.0 ports. One in the front, two in the back. And then... USB Type C cable. There's a power button, and then the power button's right here. And then the eject button's right above it. I'm gonna put that right here. I think. Let's see. I think I want to put this on its side. I'll show you. Let's see. You know what, I'm going to do this off camera and figure this out. 
Give me a second. I have to read the instructions, it makes a lot more sense. So you can turn this, right? But you want to turn the side so that way it's facing the back. You're going to put in the stand up in the standing up position. So right here, this is the top of the PS5, the PlayStation logo. So you're going to hook the back. It's going to be lined up with the back of the US, where all the USB ports are. Right here, I'm gonna hook this here, and once it's lined up with the base, there's a, a little hole at the bottom right here. And you take the screw off, and I remove the screw and put it in the back right here. You can see, put it right there, and I remove that now. So now, yeah, I've removed it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the screw here. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I'm going to have to this. I'm going to turn this in right here. Screw it in. See right here? So it's tight. It's not loose. Now the base is attached. Like so. Voila. You can see? Boom. Now you can do the same thing for the opposite side. The instructions are in the panel, so it's pretty simple. I just cannot read while recording and then show it on camera as well. But yeah, you got all the cable and stuff. We'll go ahead and attach this. Just the camera real quick. I'm plug this in here. Boom. Oh, I gotta connect to the Wi Fi. All right, so I just updated the PS5 off camera so. I'm on the PlayStation app right now, so I'm just going to scan the code to sign in through my uh, 
I have my phone, so I'll press sign in on PS5 and scan the code on your console. Boom. Scan it. You're all set. Go to your console. You can, look, it says you're all set. Go to your console to continue. Alright. Oh, look, that's me. Look at that. Ozzy 2. Sign in. Next. Alright guys, so I had to go ahead and set up my God of War Ragnarok. You just have to put the code in that comes with the game after you go to the PlayStation Store. It has all the instructions on the little sheet of paper that comes with the PS5. Yeah, let's go ahead and do something. So, anytime you want to put a game inside the PS5, if it's, if it's right side up in the same position, the cover of the disc it should be facing left. So right here, it should be facing left. Once you put it in there, and the game starts. Well, the game pops up, then you gotta select it to start. So there's the original God of War game that came out in 2018. So here I got like a line of PS4 games.
You might have noticed I got two PlayStation 5s right here. I bought the second one. So I'm thinking either I sell this PS5 or when I hit a milestone on my channel, like having 10,000 subscribers, I just go ahead and give it away. Show the support some love, but if you don't support the channel, then there's no point in giving it away. I'll just go ahead and sell it for like maybe $100 over retail. Because in California, the PS5 is is five hundred sixty dollars for the PS5 bundle with God of War, and then the sh tax is forty eight ninety nine. So I spent a total of six hundred eight dollars and ninety nine cents for the PS5. So imagine two of these. That's over twelve hundred dollars. So yeah, it's not cheap. But yeah, hope you guys like this video. Go ahead, like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Let me know if you're able to get a PS5 for yourself or friends or family. And yeah, I'm out. Peace. Definitely. I think Caleb in the matrix. Came from the lowest ground, going up and going down.